Hey guys, how we doing? This is Gloria, and I'm going to make a girl birthday card. I think I will. it will be a birthday card. So today I am going to use Lacey Labels, which is a Cricut Light cartridge, and Teddy Bear Parade, okay? Now, these are the paper patterns that I end up using. I used uh, the American Crafts Dear Lizzie enchanted and the one that I end up using is this beautiful beautiful polka dot pink paper and it's right here and then I also use the DCWV all about girls stack and the paper that I used out of here this stack has some beautiful beautiful papers look at how oh I never seen that one that one's really pretty I could have even used this one too but the one that I end up using is, oh, look at the shoes. Okay, it should be coming up. It is, I think I passed it. Yes, I did. It is this paper pattern right here, and this is sort of like a, a plaid paper with all different colors. It got purple, it got pink, it got green, it got blue in it, and it's really pretty also. Okay, so let's get started, guys. My card is going to be a, oops, an A2 size card. That was my garbage pail that fell down. Sorry about the noise, guys. And, um... Let's get started. So, I have this green cardstock, and it is four and a quarter by five and a half. So, what I did was use an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. Oh, you know I could turn it the other way, and I could cover that one up. Eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper, and then cut it at five and a half, and then you get two cards made out of them. Okay, guys. So, our first layer is going to be this per, uh, pearlized paper, and I'm going to adhere this down here. But before I do that, I have a piece left of that um, plaid paper, and I'm going to put it on top. And what I end up doing was using my Martha Stewart Chor Chorus Paper Punch, and I end up making a decorative uh, edge. So, it sort of looked like um, some type of a... I don't know, like a curtain. Okay, so let's do that. And guys, by any chance, hopefully I don't start having any problems with my ATG because I'm still having problems with it. I even changed the tape and it's still the same problem I had. It don't change. And I'm just about getting fed up with this. But, I don't want to go spend no money for the simple fact I have tons and tons and tons of ATG tape that I have to use up first. But the way it is, the way it's going, I might use it up before I even know for the simple fact it keeps on messing up. So, you end up wasting more tape than anything. Okay. And like I said before in my other video, I love the colors pink and green. They all go together and it's so pretty. And as you can see, I'm almost done with it. So I'm hoping that it lasts just enough for me to finish my card, but don't mess up either. Okay, now for the sentiment in the inside, I am using the Owl Occasions, and it's going to be wishing you a happy birthday. So let me get my 
No, I don't want to do it in mud. I need my mat, of course. And I got the memento right here. There you go. Wishing you a happy birthday. Okay. Now what else should I... It's like I'm missing something in the inside. Let me see. There's something missing, of course. And, you know, it could be some balloons. But I'll figure that out later, guys. Okay, so let's start adhering the outside. Now... really good now my other first pride and paper is going to be that pink paper that I use and I'm going to adhere it down right there so let me do that and guys I didn't put up a video yesterday because my boy was really sick and you know when the family gets sick or, or something happens I I I wanted to put up a video, but I just didn't have no time to because he was not feeling good at all. He had a sore throat, and, you know, the past couple of days, he haven't been eating good, and I knew there was something wrong because my boy, he can eat. As all of you knows, when you got a teenager, oh, my God, they have like a bottomless pit on them. <laughs> they can eat, and... When my boy is having a steak filly or chicken filly or hamburger and he don't eat the whole thing, you know there's something wrong with him. So I took really good care of him and, you know, I made sure that he was all right. Okay. And now the pattern paper that I'm using is from that paper stack from DCWV and here it goes. And I'm going to adhere it down right there. And that looks even really good right there. Just having it laid down there. I knew this was not going to last too long. Okay, now from the Lacy Labels, I end up using this label, and um, it's a really pretty label, and what I did, I end up stretching it out and widening it so I can use it for my card, and let me see if I can find it. I know it's on here. Okay. Oh my god, I can't find it. And I know it's this cartridge because I checked before I started using it. Well, anyway, it's a scallop circle. You know, this is going to really bum me out because I, I know...
Okay, here it goes. It's this one right here. And this is a scallop circle. I just used a scallop circle. And um, I end up cutting that out at 4 inches. And it's 4 inches by 5 inches long. And what I end up doing was widening it and making it longer for my image to lay right on there. Okay. So here it goes. And I cut it out out of the pink, pink poke that paper and I'm going to adhere it down right there. Okay. I need to redo my nails. But before I do my nails, I got to find out what's wrong with my ATG. I mean... I got two of them, and both of them are doing the same thing. And it's a little bit annoying, you know, because especially I had I had one of you girls commented it was probably camera shy because it only happens when I'm on film. Okay. So I'm going to layer it down. And that looks straight right there. Now I didn't glue the edges of it because that would have just took some time. As long as the middle is glued down, everything will be just fine. Now, for my image on the Teddy Bear Parade cartridge, I end up using the Sugar Plum Girl. But, she don't look like a sugar plum girl. She looks like a little princess. And, this is the one that I end up using. And there she goes right there. And I thought she came out really adorable. Okay, so, I cut her out at 3 inches. And here she goes. And I thought she was just so stinking adorable. I ended up putting some earrings on her. Now, guys, when I first put the earrings on, I put them down here, forgetting that she had ears up here. So it was, like, really funny. I was like, oh, my God, why did I do that? So I ended up using some glitter paper, and I used the green. I used the green, and I have some velvet paper. And this is her wings. And what I did since the velvet paper was really soft, I ended up putting it on a white cardstock, and then inking the edges with stays on purple so you wouldn't tell that it was white. And I'm going to adhere that right there. And I got it on the foam tape because I'm going to pop up her wings. So it's going to look like her wings are not exactly on her. So let's do that. Put some two-way on her wings. I need to get me some more two-way. I actually got the big chisel one. I could have used that. Especially for big uh, pieces like this. I'm just looking for, here it goes, my tweezer bees, and these things been through so much, but they are still with me, and I am so happy. Okay. So we got that down, and let me just bring the camera down just a little bit. And now I'm going to take this foam tape off, 
And I'm going to hear my teddy bear. Yay! I should have put her on a wobble. No. That looks really good right there. Okay, so I got her phone up, popped up. Okay, and she got her little wand. Now, I use a sentiment from the Scrappy Mom stamp set called Happily Ever After. And this has a cute, cute sentiment in it. And it's called With a Wave of the wand may your troubles be gone and since she has a wand in her hand I figured this was gonna be like the perfect 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 sentiment so I ended up cut this is the the velvet piece of paper that I got and this was from paper studio and I ended up getting 15 sheets for $1.99 when they have it had it up in Tuesday morning uh, uh, like about seven seven eight months ago and then I end up stamping that on top of the paralyzed paper and I'm gonna adhere this down just like that so let me do that Okay, so now I want to center this as close to the middle as I can without and that looks really good right there now should I pop this off you know, yes, I'm going to pop it up. It looks good, really popped up. Okay, now I just got to find my pop dots. And I know they're around here somewhere. And I guess I would just get another one because I don't see the ones that I had. It's probably on the floor somewhere. Now, guys, I want to tell you, yesterday I was at work, and I took some of my Valentine's Day cards with me at work, and I sold four of them. So, I am so happy. Oh, my God. I am, like, so happy. I sold the post postmark with love, and then I sold the one love, one life, one you. And then I also sold um, the you make my heart flutter. And the next one I sold was Sky's the Limit. So, yay! Oh my god, I'm like so stinking happy. You know, because I sell my cards whenever someone wants to buy them. But I usually give them away. And my mom was telling me, you need to get on a, a, a some type of website that you can sell your handmade cards. Because they're so adorable. And I'm like, yeah, I know, mom. But, I don't listen, so I think I'm going to have to really look into that. Okay, guys? So, that looks really good right there. It's even. It's right there in the middle. Okay, and last but not least, I want to put some gems. And, okay, here it goes. Now, since I don't have too much purple on there, I actually want to bring the purple out a little bit. So I'm going to use some purple and pink bling. And I got a bling on her a little bow. And I thought it was really cute. I might just use all purple instead of any pink. 
because I got pink in the whole entire card. Or I could use green. What you think? You know, let's see how the purple look. Because I also got green bling too. You know, I might use the green to bring the green out on her heart and her shoes and stuff. You also try to definitely try to pull some colors out that you're using. Okay, I think I'm going to use the green ones. Okay, so let me do that. Guys, after this, this is the end of my card. And I had really fun making this card. I love that teddy bear parade cartridge. It is so stinking adorable. And the person that created it came out with a really good, good cartridge. Because if you guys don't have this cartridge, I advise you to go out and get it. Because you cannot beat the quality of the suits on there, the shape of it, and all the different things. You got 50 bears you can deal with. with fifth, you know, 50... Well, it's one bear with 50 different outfits for a boy or a girl. And it's amazing, you know. And now that the Peachy King stamps have the teddy bear faces, oh my God, you can, you really can't beat that. Oh, that's another thing. I forgot to tell you what face I use. Just give me a second and I'll definitely do that. Okay. There goes my bling. Now, for the teddy bear face, I got the teddy bear assortment package. And this is from the Peachy King Stamps. And you get six, one, two, three, four, five. Five different sizes, but six varieties of faces. And, I mean, they're cute. Plus, you get two of the really big ones. So, you can't beat that, you know. And a lot of times, they're $25 when they first come out. But you get, I think, 10% off, I think, if you pay $0.75. Cents. $75 or more, free shipping, but I mean, it's well worth it, or not, I'm going to tell you right now, these are not going to be up in joannes.com, they won't, they, they're brand spanking new, so it'll be a while before it even comes out, but guys, just wanted to show you my card that I did today, thank you for joining me, I appreciate you stopping by, taking time out today to watch my videos, thank you, thank you, thank you so much, you guys have a wonderful day now, okay? Bye. Have a great weekend, too. Bye now, guys.